All right, so as we are going through this series, we've gone through descriptive and inferential statistics, variables, percentiles. I think the next thing we have to go through is measurement. All right, so we go through measurement. So we go through measurement. So we're looking at scales of measurement, okay, scales of measurement. So we measure our dependent variables. Different types are measured differently, okay. So we want to we want to find a find a way to um, you know if, if you have the kind of data, what kind of measure scale um, does it fall, right? So there are four fundamental scales, the nominal, ordinal, interval, and ratio, okay. Nominal, ordinal, and interval, uh, interval and ratio. So this one, remember, when we talked about types of data, these guys fall under quantitative. Okay, so these people are under quantitative data, quantitative, and these guys are under qualitative. All right, these guys are under qualitative qualitative or some people will say quanti qualitative or categorical all right categorical or something yeah categorical so nominal and ordinal interval uh, ratio so we have the interval and ratio falling under quantitative nominal and ordinal falling under categorical data all right so we want to go through and know them well as uh, statisticians So the first thing we're talking about is the nominal scales. Nominal scales. What is the nominal scales all about? So the nominal scales are just names or categories. They are just names and categories. Okay. So a typical example is gender. So if I say gender, if I ask you that gender, what's your gender? You only give me a name. All right. So if I say gender, you only tell me that, oh, I'm a female. Isn't it? So that's a name, or I'm a male. That's a name. That's just a name or a category, right? So there's there's there are categories. Which one do you belong to? I belong to female, or I belong to a male. That is basically nominal. And then one thing about it is that um, you can't tell me that there's no order. Okay, even even if there are thousand categories, you can't order them. You can't say that this category is better than that category because in this case we can't say male. Is greater than female right there's no way you can say that you can say that a female is better than a male being a male is better than a female it's going to be uh, when you go outside the world people will try to argue that but in statistics doesn't work here we can't say that uh, male is greater than female or female is greater than male right so in a nominal scale you just have names or you have a category right category where people or your objects or the people you are collecting the data on would probably belong to right so when they belong to those um, um, categories you cannot order them right so um, handedness actually it's it's quite not very obvious uh, favorite color so if you say your color is green somebody says yellow somebody says red right these are categories so what's your favorite color somebody will belong to red somebody will belong to yellow somebody will belong to green but you can't tell me that yellow is better than green and green is better than red or anything else okay you don't have a way of ordering them religion right religion being being either you are a christian muslim judaism buddhism or others other forms of religion but you cannot tell me that uh, you can't go and tell somebody who is Buddhist and say that your religion is not that bad, uh, it's not good. You can't arrange them. You can't cut and say that, oh, uh, in the whole world, the best, uh, the first religion is uh, Muslim or Judaism or something. There is no ordering, all right? You can't do the ordering. So that's the lowest level of measurement. That's the lowest. So 
you you want to take your data that's the lowest thing you can consider the, the lowest kind of data measurement or skills of measurement you can get is a nominal one all right now um, the ordinal one is also categories but just that there is some kind of order right so that's a difference that 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 is the difference between the nominal and then the ordinal right so the ordinal skill also are names they are names and then are categories right but there is some order there is some order okay uh -huh. so there is order which is very meaningful right so example consumer satisfaction ratings so very satisfied not satisfied uh, you see that so you can categorize them their satisfaction you can put somebody up somebody down somebody up somebody down and then it will follow up military rankings even though they are categories you belong to this rank you have this rank you have this rank they are not numbers they are just categories they are names but just just that there is that kind of order okay somebody is ahead of somebody right class rankings you may have a first person second third fourth all right even though we say that you are first 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 it's not it's just a category you belong to second it's just a category you belong to third it's just a category you belong to fourth it's just a category you belong to all right but there is that ordering you see that somebody is far be better off than the other okay so that is what differentiates a nominal skill from ordinal skill okay all right so take note and then the other one oh now what is also not here is that we can't assume even though there is ordering we can't assume the difference between adjacent skill uh, values are equal okay so like the example i gave let's say the class ordering somebody is a first somebody is second somebody is third i can't say the difference between first and second is kind of has something to do with the difference between the third and then uh, I can't measure I can't even know what it is the difference between this I can't know the value if there was a difference between the first person and the second person you can actually quantify that all right what's the difference between the second and third you can they are even they are just numbers so what is third this is third and this is second so what's the difference if you take third and second uh, third second from third what do you get right that thing doesn't really work in here so even if they are numbers we can't say that um, you can't tell me that um, because somebody is first and somebody is second okay before somebody is first somebody is first and somebody is second and somebody said the difference between this and that is a one and the difference between this and that is a one so the difference is equal to a one they are equal the difference between this and the difference between that are equal it doesn't work here okay you can't see that in the ordinal scale you can't see that so the other thing is the interval scale okay so the interval scale we said it's for quantitative data so this will not just be names it will not just be categories it will not just have order all right and then there is going to be an intervals have same interpretation interval has same interpretation so example is what we say as celsius temperature okay and then problem no true zero point so th this is kind of the difference between interval and ratio so look at that so what we are saying is that okay if you go to a room and somebody says my room is 20 degrees celsius all right 20 degrees celsius um somebody's room is 30 degrees celsius and somebody's room is uh, 40 degrees celsius yeah you can say that the difference between this uh Coffee's room 
an MS room, the temperature, the difference is 10 degrees Celsius. You can see that. And which is the same as this, also 10 degrees Celsius. You can see that. So for this, we can see, all right? For this, we can see. But there, we can see that. So for this, we can see. But one thing about this interval scale of measurement is that uh, when you say zero degrees Celsius, zero degrees Celsius doesn't mean that no temperature exists. All right, no temperature exists. If you say zero degrees Celsius, there is some existence of even if you you say zero degrees, that means that is even uh, the cooling point where water even gets cooled, isn't it? Uh -huh. So imagine at zero degrees Celsius that we will say that there shouldn't be anything, but it happens that for interval scales, zero doesn't mean that the thing doesn't exist. Okay, zero doesn't mean that the thing doesn't exist. Okay, it does exist. So that is it. So there is no true, no true zero point. All right. So that zero point doesn't mean the zero we know. So in interval scale, the zero that we know that is zero. You do exams and you get a zero. It's free. Everybody knows you got nothing. All right. Your height is zero means it doesn't exist. Uh, probably your your weight is zero means it doesn't exist. We know that if you are zero, you don't exist, isn't it? Uh -huh. But it happens that when you come to intervals, you zero doesn't mean it doesn't. The thing doesn't exist. It really exists. So the last thing is the ratio skill, all right? The ratio skill. So the ratio skill also has categories, okay? Categories. They are also names. They are. They have ordering, right? They they mean the intervals are. You can see they are the same, but there is a true, all right? Addition of a true absolute true zero. So in here, when we say zero, we mean zero, right? Amount of money. Zero money indicates the absence of money. So if you say you have no money, your money is zero. We know that you have no money. If your height is zero, we know that you don't exist. All right. Okay. So these are the measures, um, skills of measurement you have to come by. Right. So you take note of that, and then probably try to make a little note, um, and then you'll be fine. So it's the fact that here we say that if there is zero, it's zero. So if I see your height is zero, you don't exist. Your weight is zero, you don't exist. All right. Um, if I see the money in your pocket is zero, you don't exist. All right. The number of people living in a community is zero. Nobody exists there. All right. So when we say zero in ratio, when we say zero in ratio, we mean zero. When we say zero here, we mean what? Zero. Unlike the interval where even if you say zero, it doesn't indicate the presence, uh, the absence of that, that particular um, variable. All right. It actually indicates, um, if, even though it's a zero, but there is that uh, variable presence. Okay. All right. So that is that for the various skills of measurement. So we have four skills of measurement. Take note. We have the nominal, the ordinal, all right, the interval, and then the last one, which is the ratio, all right? So take note of that. So that is the other. Remember, I said these two belongs to categorical data, and these two belongs to quantitative data, all right? So see, see you in the next video. Where we'll be talking about the next thing, and then we'll try to sum up this PDF, and then probably jump into something uh, interesting, okay? Alright, so if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to my. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to my um, to my channel, and then make sure you follow me and get all my videos when they are uploaded.